Hey, so this uh, video is a response to a question on the Glowforge forum about how to make a cake topper where one of the words is larger than the others. So with the cake topper generator, you know, you can type any text in here, but um, all of the, um, and you can change the font, but they're all going to be the same size. So. Um, I guess I'd like to show you how you can make a design like this sort of from scratch in Cuddle. And um, so to do that, I'm going to go to my projects and I'm going to create a new blank project. And then in the Cuddle editor, we're going to um, make some connected text. Um, and so if I go to browse all shapes, and then this is the connected text, so I'm just going to drag this out onto the canvas, and then I can type in some text. So um, I'm going to go with sort of the, the top line there, and then I'm going to drag out another connected text for the other part because that one's going to need to be bigger. So I'm going to drag out another one and type in one. And because I have these as separate, now I can take this and you know make it bigger. Um, so maybe this is going to be uh, really big. And then um, and then we need to sort of compose how these are all going to be overlapping and and stuff like that. Um, so another thing that I'll do is I'm going to give these both a fill so that it's easier for me to see when they're like, when I'm dragging them around, like what the whole composition is going to look like. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to check the box next to fill and I'm going to change the color to be black. And I'm going to do that on this one also, check fill make the color black. Um, you can also change the font on these. Um, right now it's this Pacifico font. Um, I guess if, I think the default on the um, cake topper is like Rochester. Uh, and it has a thicken of 1%. Um, might be nice. You can have different fonts for the different ones. So that's sort of an advantage of doing this in the Cuddle editor is that you can really customize everything. And in fact, I think I'm going to, I decided that this is, is going to be tricky to sort of put all together. So I think I'm going to actually change the text and just say, um, just have the name here, take off the is, and then pull out another one for the is, and I'm also going to make this have a black fill. And then I can, I think, put this like that maybe, and then get, um, this looks great to me, I think. I think look, going like that is, is a good way to go. Um, so I've got all these things in um, out here on the canvas. Each one individually is connected, but they aren't all, um, they're not all connected to each other yet. Um, so if you were to put this into Glowforge, it would still cut out here, but I'll show you how to connect everything together in a second. Um, I'm also going, I, we need to make the, the steak for going into the cake. So to do that, I'm going to pull out a rectangle and I want to change the dimensions of this so I can I can drag the corner to change it and I can also type in dimensions so I know that a cake topper should be say about three inches high so I, I just type I clicked that and typed in three I'm going to click this and type in 0 0.15 inches that was uh, what I did on the cake topper template I'm going to give this also a fill of black so that I'm going to be able to sort of see how it's going to go together. Um, and then 
I need the little um, pointy part. To do that, I'm going to just drag out a triangle. I'm going to uh, do edit flip vertical so that it's upside down. I'm going to give that a black fill also. And then I want to put that on the bottom. So um, the way that you can snap it to the bottom by dragging it from a place that you want to snap. So I know that I want this corner to go here. So I'm just going to drag that there and it'll snap there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit using my mouse wheel. And I'm going to resize it from this spot and I'll hold shift to keep it. Let's see. Um, I think I'll just sort of go like that and get it in there. And then I'm going to drag from this side and snap it to the corner. And then I'll drag it down a little bit here. Um, something like that should be good. Okay, so I have these shapes. And then I'm going to uh, select both of these by um, doing a region selection and put this, say, maybe it'll go up like there or something. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to just get it into place. So now I have all of these shapes. They're all still separate shapes. Um, but what I can do next is I can select all of them and do modify flatten. And what flatten will do is it will take all of my um, black shapes and sort of make them into one thing. Um, so they do all need to be filled with the same color for this to work. Flatten's very useful. You can also like make white shapes to like subtract out you know, a hole and stuff like that, but we don't need that for this. So I'll just show you. So I go to modify flatten and then that takes all of my shapes and puts them in a group with this flatten modifier on them. And then this will be ready to cut in um, Glowforge. And I can also check this stroke result on flatten. And then that will show me exactly like this is what is being cut. and. Um, that looks like exactly what I want to be cut. So then I can go to File, uh, Export, SVG, and then um, I'm ready for that to go into Glowforge. Um, so yeah, I mean, like making it from scratch is more work and is uh, trickier, I guess, um, but it gives you more control over how it comes together. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any more questions.